Well, he burst onto the scene in 1978 with the album Bat Out of Hell, which went on to become one of the biggest selling albums of all time, somewhere in excess of 30 million copies, and the biggest ever album in Australian music history. The sequel in 1993 was also a number one hit in 29 countries, and now the trilogy is complete with the release of Bat Out of Hell 3, The Monster is Loose. It is a great pleasure to welcome the great man himself into the studio, along with a singer who features on the album, Marion Raven and Meatloaf. Welcome. Thanks, Richard. Lovely to see you. Nice to see you, Marion. Say hello. Yeah. There you go. Quite a, quite a big act to follow. Me, tell us about the decision to go with Marion. Is a big act. Yeah, she's That's big an act easy to follow. Decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big act to follow. Are you kidding? Looking like that, it's hard. Tell us about the decision to go with <clears throat> Well, Jim Steinman really made the decision. He, he, he called me up. I got time passes fast when you get old, so I never know how long it is. But but he he called me up and said, look. Let's do bat three, and I, because I, we it kind of happens out of the blue when these things go. So he was kind of the impetus behind the whole uh, movement to start bat three, and uh, started sending me songs and talking on the phone, and and uh, so we just moved forward with it, and it was a pretty logical decision. And but it does take a long time. I mean, 16 years between the two, and now 13 years, and it doesn't seem possible it was 13 years. Marion, you're a big star in Norway, where you were born. And also throughout Asia with your group M2M. But working with Meatloaf, tell me, tell me how it came about and how exciting it is. Uh, I was writing with Desmond Child for my own album when he played me the song and asked if I wanted to sing on it. And I didn't, didn't have to think about it twice. I just said yes and went straight to the studio. Well, the song, because every one of Meat's albums has a big duet on it, and the one you're doing was a hit for Celine Dion, but it's a Meatloaf song. It was written for yeah, you. Yeah, I, I, I said 87% of the people who heard the song at first always went, what? That sounds, that sounds like a Mean Loaf song. And uh, they were right. And I first got the song in 86. Jim Steinman sent me the song in 86. And usually when I get a Jim Steinman song, and I, I start laughing at the lyrics because I always find them really funny. And Jim does too. And this one I became really emotional over. And I called Jim. I heard it about four times. I called Jim on the phone. I, I was going, oh, Jim, God, this song. And Jimmy starts laughing at me. He goes, boy, you're emotional. I said, yeah. I said, this is an amazing song, because it was really, when I, when I heard it, what I felt was, because Jim and I kind of been separated for about five years, and, and all of a sudden we, were, we had gone back to his house, we were working together again, and he sends me this song called It's All Coming Back to Me Now. And so I, I took it really literal about Jim Steinman and myself. So I've been emotionally attached to this song for a long time. But I just didn't ever think that, uh, you know, it would be really good if Jim and I sang it as a duet. It would, no. it would be a little, 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 little strange. So I, I thought, you know, Marion was perfect. It, and, and she looks better than Jim, too. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Jim's not a bad looking guy. Don't no, get me totally wrong. Right. Don't get me wrong about that. But, but compared to Marion, even Jim would go, yeah, okay, I can understand that. This is quite a kickstart to your career internationally, isn't it, Marion? Oh, yeah, it is. It's a big step the right way. And you've got your own stuff coming out again? Uh, yeah, coming, next year. yeah, early next year. Okay, mm -hmm. and it's very good, by the way. I, I should, like so. I should, I, I should add. Thank you. And and uh, a friend of mine, James Michael, produced Hearth Records, and James is is featured on Bat Three and and Nikki Six and and different people, and and it's very good. Meatloaf, Marion, thank you so much for coming. And Bat Out of Hell Free, the monster is loose. Opens and uh, is released here in Australia in October. Thanks yes, it coming. is. And the monster is loose. Meatloaf, thank you. I have to be loud at least once. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with being loud. Bit of volume in the morning. Uh, he's got plenty of that, hasn't he?